Hello Libra, how are you guys doing? Welcome to my channel. This is Selavi. I'm gonna do a reading for you guys. Um, let's see what's going on with your space, your energy. Um, I hope everybody's doing very, very, very well. All right, so let's see what's going on. Like, share, and subscribe. All right, and remember this may or may not resonate with everybody. All right, but if it does, perfect. If it doesn't, check out your others, you know, um, placements. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get started. Spirit, what is the message for the sign of Libra? Sun, sun, moon, Venus signs. Sign of Libra. Acceptance of love. Acceptance of, okay, that, where'd you go? Be spontaneous. Acceptance of love and leap of faith. And leap of faith, okay? Very interesting acceptance of love wow that's so beautiful that's so beautiful um okay so with this guys look how beautiful this is i feel like this is like if this could be any card this would be like the card of libra right this is so beautiful i feel like either you or your person like there's there's love right there's so much beautiful love in this situation and Oh my God, be spontaneous. Reach over. Look how these people are reaching over and grabbing each other. Reach over and connect. Reach over and meet me halfway. Meet me halfway. Meet me in the middle. Accept this feeling of love. Accept this feeling that we both are feeling intuitively. That we both constantly feel but remain silent over. That's so interesting so beautiful like that's so beautiful like if i was i could cry over that <laughs> yeah that's beautiful guys so someone here is needing to accept love 11 11 11 11 11 11 11 all right 11 11 wow somebody cannot walk away Somebody cannot walk away from a situation. I'm getting clearly. All right. Someone is definitely focused on love here and they're needing to make a decision about something. They're needing to make a decision about love. I feel like whoever this is, whether it's you or your person, Libra, someone wants to make a decision about this beautiful Ten of Cups here. This beautiful connection that constantly stays on my mind. I hear stays on my mind, constantly stays on my mind. And I don't know what to do and I don't know how to communicate and I and I'm just gonna wait it could be at a distance um, from someone or and someone just needs to take a leap of faith someone needs to be spontaneous about this because this is definitely true uh, this is beautiful I okay this is it is beautiful but let's see what's going on here I do get that both of you guys are feeling this whoever this person is you may be dealing with an Aries Libra or somebody that is very stubborn <laughs> somebody that's very stubborn about this love and somebody that's just trying to control this love with their with their mind trying to control this love in a, in a sense I feel like someone here wants to be transparent but because of this control here there's a level of control in this relationship I feel like there's a lot of aggression that has brought, you know, been brought into this relationship um, because someone's not really able to express their issues, express their thoughts, express their inner fears because they have an image to uphold. And because of this image, they're slightly sabotaging this beautiful union. It's making it hard for you to work with someone that continuously confuses and blocks and holds back and you know remains stubborn but under the deck look you know you know this person thinks about you you know this connection is real some of you guys are starting to if this person's not around you which i don't think they are um a lot of you guys are starting to realize you're picking up this person's scent when you're going to bed you're thinking about this person very often it's like more than usual more than usual you're you're thinking about this person or we're thinking about this person somebody's on your mind 
but I'm, I'm seeing somebody's like really trying to control themselves mentally. It's like they're fighting it. They're, yeah, like they're fighting this connection, the strong connection that lies here. And somebody's just waiting around. They're not doing anything. They miss you sexually. They miss the intimate moments. They miss you. But because of that energy of that control right there, and I see it, this person's very... Like the thing about Libras here is that you guys are so loving. You guys are so full of love and fairness, right? Look at that. You guys, you know, you could see this person. This person sits in a place of regret. Why? They sit in a place of sorrow, pain, hurt. Why? Because they know losing you is going. I don't want to talk like you're God or anything, but I mean, Libra. Um, this person, I feel like, cross watcher, this could be you. I feel like someone is sitting in a place of regret because they understand the way that you made them feel. Like they felt fulfilled when they were with you they felt happy they felt like this was a new beginning they felt like this was something that um it was just a new chapter in their life and some you know someone that was going to bring you know happiness and because of that walking away is is just very it's very hard for them it's it's extremely hard so let's continue and see what's going on but i see you guys may have children with this person Let's see what's going on with this Empress. For some of you guys, this person may be dealing with someone that they have a child with. And because of that, they have to uphold this sort of image and they are not able to do anything. Look, they're not moving and all they could do is wait, right? And we see the tower here, right? So waiting is bringing a tower. Sabotaging this relationship is going to bring a tower. The more you wait, the more you have Libra waiting around, benching, right? Um, making Libra feel, or this beautiful empress, okay, male or female, the more you allow them to wait and you feel, you're not prioritizing them and you're putting them second, the more this happens, the more that abrupt disconnect happens. Because I feel like this person here is having trouble, see Hermit. I feel like this person feels, this person could be dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Oh, I just saw the Three of Cups. But I feel like this person is moving slowly to come towards you. And that's not something you're very happy with. That's not something you're okay with. And that's not something you're you're wanting to to deal with, okay? This person is either focusing on their work right now. But as they're doing that, they're constantly thinking about you. Constantly thinking about you. But the thing with, like I said, the thing with Libra, this person could have lied to you. This person couldn't, you know, possibly wasn't honest about something. And that's one thing that definitely really pulled you away, Libra, or made you look at this really differently is the fact that this, you know, this issue was just, you know, not sincere. Something wasn't sincere here. And that's the energy that I'm getting. This lack of, lack of love in this situation. So that's something that I think a lot of you guys just kind of think about a lot and you kind of you know continuously think about right but i don't feel like anybody's contacting nobody's communicating about this issue this is definitely a past person this is a past person that you've been dealing with and this is somebody that constantly thinks about you but i feel like they're afraid to contact they're afraid to bring in this love that the empress deserves right and i don't know how much libra is going to be okay with that how long is libra going to sit around waiting for somebody to show her him libra cross watch your love see nobody wants to sit around and wait for that type of stuff i mean if you have time on your hands and you don't mind being you know benched if this is a third party hopefully it's not for some of you guys it's not but for some of you guys it is and you guys know about it but you're willing to wait See, this person, see, we had the, that popped out, Queen of Swords. Your attitude towards this is different. You're no longer wanting to be second to anything, okay? You don't want any more lies. You don't want anybody keeping any secrets from you. And this is where this person has to start understanding the relationship will fail. Once you start um, inserting games into a relationship any relationship doesn't only have to be with a libra but libra brings fairness to things and once she realizes or he realizes that you know 
this is not fair grounds, they're out of there. And I feel like a lot of you guys realize that this person has stepped into a place where now they're playing games with your emotions. They're playing games with this beautiful love that you guys share. And this is something that you guys both know that's there. This is not one-sided at all. This is very, very mutual very mutual but i feel like someone has someone else waiting and i don't know if someone's gonna stick around for that long you know um waiting around because they're the emperors their love they they are the definition of love they're the definition of fertility they're the definition of i you know love right and i don't know how much longer this person's gonna sit around waiting for this person to you know move slowly or you know constantly hold back or lie i don't know how long you guys are going to wait around for that but at this time i feel like your person is definitely reflecting they're thinking about you they're like oh my god libra brought so much love to me libra brought um peace into my space peace and love into my space constantly but because of this image that they have to create or keep there's manipulation into this so let's see what's going on i just want to see what's going on with your person i just want to see what's going on with your person like what's going on in your person's mind let me actually grab this deck i hope everybody's doing very well oh look at the bottom of the deck it's like someone wants to i feel like someone is like sabotaging this relationship unknowingly though unknowingly they may be doing it unknowingly because they don't realize that eventually oh wow okay yeah there was a third party Ooh, could you guys see that there's like a glare but yeah there was some sort of like heartbreak it doesn't only have to be a third party it doesn't have look she's not playing this game Emperance is not playing this game someone really hurt someone here someone either really hurt someone here or someone has been hurt by their child's mother or there's a woman in someone's life here, could be a mother figure, that has brought a lot of pain into this situation or, or has created this distant um, that's created here. But for some of you guys, I feel like this Empress Libra possibly was hurt because we did see her here. Libra or him, okay? We're not doing genders, not gender specific, but somebody was hurt here. And I feel like constantly that is what is holding you back from moving forward with this person, even if they did return, what they've done in the past, how they sabotage this relationship, you know? It's like Libra's waiting somewhat for this person to come back and reveal their truth, but it's like, damn, like you really did a number on me. You really did a, a number on me, and I just don't know if I could continue with that. It's been way too toxic, way too painful. You know, I brought happiness into you, to your space. We had happiness together, but dang, you know? And the fact that this person's not expressing themselves hurts more, and you know it. Look how that high priestess jumped out. You know that this person loves you. They know that they love you. But because of the thoughts, and I feel like Libra, you guys know exactly how this is gonna go. You know this person's gonna, you know, eventually, <laughs> eventually find the courage to try to communicate with you you know this but i also feel like your person is reflecting on how they treated you they're looking at all of their actions and what they did what they did and i feel like that's what's also holding them back from moving forward with you it's like i've put this person through so much how do i how do i come through again like how do i communicate and say I'm sorry babe just say sorry just say sorry you know just say sorry and I feel like I feel like this person lied about something there's some lying going on here that I that I pick up someone really broke this and I feel like somebody understands at this time of um yeah look at this bottom of the deck this person's regretting something there's like heavy regret I lost my person my person's walking away I feel like Libra this person is really really you know what it is I feel like this person they know that they can't make a decision and I feel like to some extent they're they're look they're indecisive and they're they're in their head they're not doing anything 
For some of you guys, this person knows that they can't make a decision or they're trying to make a decision because they may be stuck in a situation. But because of that, they're just going to remain connected with you spiritually because that's just the easiest thing for them to do. And their walls are up. They're not doing anything. And that's really bothering you. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. They're just focused on their money right now. They're focused on other things. And they're, they don't know what to do. This person's really not sure what to do. Wow. I mean, I feel like you guys are going to come to a point where you guys are going to say like, you know what? I've waited around. You know, even the word waiting makes me makes me um, get goosebumps a little bit. But waiting, you guys have been waiting. And I feel like at some point you guys are going to say like, I've done everything I can for this union. I've tried. I've waited. Um, I've given this so many years. And at this point, I don't know if I can give this more time because I'm the empress. You guys are the empress. Like empress waits around for nobody. Nobody. I mean, they'll give you a few, you know, they'll give you a year or a couple of months. But some people are way past that, you know, and this person's on a cycle. It's like they really, they constantly, they don't know what to do with a, an amazing empress. So that because that becomes very troublesome. And it's like, I'm not too sure if I could go through this with you again. Because there's people out there waiting for this empress to shine their light on them. And, and you're just harboring the empress's time. It's getting ridiculous and it's possibly not going to go on for a very long time. Depending on um, the type of empresses that are watching. But yeah, so that is our message, guys. I hope this resonated with you. I love you guys. I hope you guys are happy. Remember, you control your mind. You control the I am. And yeah, I will talk to you guys soon. Have a wonderful one. Bye.